Well, we have officially reached another milestone with the 2004 Lincoln Town Car as we have just hit 40,000 miles. So as you can see there, 40,110 miles. And those of you that have been keeping up with me in this channel, you guys know I purchased this car off of Facebook Marketplace, a gentleman off Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it was around 33 or 34,000 miles when I got it last year, 2023, and September it was. And uh, yeah, here we are. We are kind of at the end of June of 2024. We just crossed over that 40,000 mile mark. And I kind of wanted to just give an update video for you guys of how the car has been holding up, the things that I've done to it, so on and so forth. So, so I've done a little bit of cosmetic as well as mechanical updates to the car. The first thing I'd like to point out was one of the first things I did was add window tint to this car. When I first purchased it, it literally had zero window tint. This thing was a complete fishbowl and I thought slapping on some window tint would uh just make it look better just more appealing kind of like a classier look i don't know that's kind of uh it's kind of up to somebody's opinion what they think about that i had some people said it made it look so much better other people they're not really a fan of window tint me i like it so i did it but for those of you wondering the uh the back five windows here i think i had them at do it at 20 percent window tint and then the front windshield, I don't even know if you could tell really on camera, but the front windshield is 50% tint. So I had sometimes you guys ask me in the comments, that's the, uh, that's the percentages on those, 20% on the back, 50% on the front. As well as if you guys remember when I first got this car, it did have that chrome piece going around the wheel wells here. I'll throw a picture up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I did remove those. Once again, that's kind of people's opinion on if they like those or not. I know a lot of these Lincoln Town cars, if you look at them, they tend to have those on there. Um, from my understanding, that's just completely aftermarket. I don't think the cars came with that on there. Someone can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But yeah, it's kind of like a little, you know, clips on on the fender there. And it adds a little bit more bling, I guess you could say. And Although I didn't really, I was kind of indifferent on the look of it, but I was more so worried about the rust that could potentially build up underneath those. They have a tendency to cause water to seep in behind them. And then all of this typically tends to get rusted out. So if you ever look at these Lincoln Town cars, you're looking for one used or Grand Marquis or whatever, if you have that chrome piece that covers this, you wanna be careful because you don't know if underneath that that paint is bubbling or if it's rusted out and so on and so forth so that was my main reason for removing it i didn't want to run the risk of that and to be honest i don't think it looks too bad without it i got a little bit extra chrome down here like a, a strip and uh with the wheels and everything else the the chrome door handles and the chrome around the windows there i think it all still ties in very nicely and it's, uh, I feel like it's just enough chrome. Now, while I'm down here, another cosmetic thing I did was refinish these wheels. Again, if you're in the market for these cars, you know that these wheels will tend to flake up uh, just from age or weather or combination of both. It started happening to my wheels on the inside. There was a pitting right here and there was like little, almost like metal, like aluminum peeling off. And what it was causing is when I was driving, you would hear that that metal kind of scraping on the inside of the wheel or kind of like touching the rotor a little bit of the car. So I went ahead and got these wheels refinished. These are powder coated. Um, not bad, they've been holding up. I've had it done for a few months now. They've been holding up pretty well for me. So I'm happy with it. I also don't got to deal with that sound anymore. So that's good. Um, if you're in the market and you're thinking about doing that, 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 that's the best thing I found to kind of take care of that problem. If your wheels are pitting like that and peeling you could look for some brand new wheels on eBay or if someone's got an extra set. That kind of is slim pickings. And when you do find them, they are pretty expensive. There's a premium for that. So the next best thing I was able to come up with is powder coating them. And yeah, so far I'm very happy with that. As you can see, we got Travel Star tires on here. When I first purchased the car, it actually had the original Michelin white wall tires that came on the car stock. So 
those of you that know know that obviously michelin does not make those tires anymore which is unfortunate and kind of the next best thing you could really get if you want white wall tires still is i know you could do these travel star tires these are the exact spec size and everything for the lincoln for the tires and wheels if you want to do i know goodyear makes a a white wall tire i think it's a little bit wider is what the thing is and um People do run them on these Lincoln Town cars, but me personally, I didn't want to get into changing up the stock size that goes on these cars. Uh, it's 225.60 with a 17-inch rim, so I wanted to stick to that 225.60. I didn't want to go. I think it's the Goodyear might be a 235, which something that small of a difference probably wouldn't really matter, but I don't know. It was just a thing for me. I was like, I'm not going to mess with it. So the gentleman who I purchased the vehicle off of, this was actually his father-in-law's car. He purchased it brand new and then he had passed away. So it wasn't like I bought this car from a dealership where there was like maintenance history or anything I could really pull up. So around 37,000 miles, so about 3,000 miles ago, I really started to kind of tap in and try to get as much done maintenance wise as I could with the fluids and everything like that. So the next couple things I'm listing are all things that I did around 37,000 miles to this car. But really quick, before I get into that, there's just one thing I wanted to mention here about these Travel Star tires. Um, I know if you go on a lot of the Lincoln Town Car forums, it's, there's a constant back and forth argument regarding these tires. Some people say that they're cheap and to stay away from them, that they've had bad experience. Other people swear by them. They say that they've never had a problem. And I am those people. I have had these tires now for, yeah, probably about 3,000 miles I've put on them. And I haven't had any issues with any of them. They are evenly wearing on the vehicle as they should. There's no goofy extra road noise or they're fine at highway speeds. They're fine at lower speeds. So my personal experience with the Travel Star tires is I've never had an issue with it yet. Knock on wood. Um, but you will see a lot of people are kind of very specific on what tires they want to put on these vehicles. Me personally, I wanted to stick to the white wall look, so that's why I ended up going for those travel stars. But yeah, but back to the maintenance we did. Let me just get started here. Let me, let me really think. So we did, on this side of the vehicle, on the passenger side, there's the fuel filter. So I went ahead and swapped out the fuel filter with the OEM Ford one. There's videos on YouTube on how to do it. It's super simple. It's going to be right on the passenger side of the vehicle here, kind of right in front of that uh, back rear tire. But it's like two clips. You pop it off. You throw the new fuel filter on. And uh, that's important to do. If you haven't done that, if you own one of these Panther platform vehicles and you haven't done that yet, look it up on YouTube. Do it. It's it's something you could easily do in your garage. And it's, it's definitely recommended because I feel like it's one of those things that people forget to do. And it could really cause your car to, to run not at its optimal, optimal performance. So definitely check out the fuel filter and do that if you need to. I also went ahead and tackled the brake fluid on this car. Uh, the brakes and rotors, I'm pretty sure, are original on this vehicle. I haven't had it at 40,000 miles. I'm still good. I've checked them. I've had them checked. They said that they don't need any replacing. There's no warping of any kind. There's no vibrating when I brake or pulling to any side when I'm braking. So as of right now, they're good, but I did change the brake fluid on the vehicle. I also did the power steering fluid at that time. The engine air filter, those of you know, these do not have these Lincoln Town cars. They do not have cabin air filters. So I did the engine air filter, and then if you guys know, a lot of you guys checked out my video regarding sealing that front cowl on this car. Uh, we also did that to prevent, I wasn't having any leaking going on in the interior, but I just wanted to do it as kind of like preventative maintenance. So we got that done as well. I also had a lot of you guys asking me about the transmission fluid, if I was if I was gonna drop the uh, the pan on the transmission fluid and do the, you know, the fluid in the filter. Um, I'm honestly not too sure on that. I know that that's kind of like another thing where people get kind of, uh, they're specific about some people say to do it. Some people say to leave it alone at 40,000 miles. I'd probably be safe to do it. I haven't done it yet. I checked the transmission fluid. Everything looks good with it for right now. And I'm not noticing anything, any problems with shifting or anything like that. It might be something I tackle in the future, but as of right now, I haven't done it. I want to go ahead and show you guys 
the interior here as well just so you can see how it's been holding up although it's only 40,000 miles I do drive the car every single day so but I know a lot of these people complain about these straps becoming loose or breaking over time luckily mine has been okay um, yeah so I haven't had an issue with that the leather seats and the leather on the armrests, everything like that's been holding up pretty well. I haven't had any sort of issues. It's funny to me. It's always funny when I go on Marketplace if I'm looking at any of these town cars or just even any other cars with leather on the seats. You will find these cars and there's literally the driver's seat or the passenger seat is literally like it looks like someone took a box cutter to the seat. The leather will be all ripped up and it'll be all tore up and... I never understood that. I've owned multiple cars uh, with leather seats. I've I've had other cars that were higher mileage than this and in less good of shape and worse shape than this car, I should say at least. And I've never had my seat get tore up like how some of these are on Facebook Marketplace. I don't know. Drop a comment below if you've ever experienced that. I know people say it's like the buttons on their jeans or or whatever, but. I just don't understand it. I've never had a problem with a leather seat like that where it gets ripped up to the point where you're literally seeing beneath the leather and the padding underneath the seat. It's crazy to me. But anyways, moving on. <clears throat> Everything is held up very good. I don't have any sort of bubbling on my dash or anything. I know some people recommend to put uh, the sun visors, the sun shades in the windshield of these cars. I park my car in the garage regularly, so I don't do that um, when I'm at work. It is parked outside, but I just never, never did the whole sun visor, sunshade thing. Another thing is in these cars is the headliner. A lot of people have instances where they start to droop down or sometimes they even get ripped. I don't know how. Um, mine is still up there. It's tucked up nice. It is not drooping anywhere. So... Yeah, I've been uh, I've been okay with that. So the interior, the interior is actually what grabs people's attention on this car more than the exterior. I mean, I got I get a lot of thumbs up in this car when you know people see it. When they're you know the certain there's a, obviously a certain type of person that appreciates these cars, but I'll get a lot of thumbs up when they see the outside. But the inside seems to surprise people a lot more when they get in it just with how everything is held up yes it's only forty thousand miles but it's a 20 year old car at the end of the day so i also had people asking me if i've had any sort of issues with the car at all and besides like the wheel peeling thing that i mentioned um i haven't had any problems with the car now the air ride suspension is the air ride is the original air ride on this car um it's never been swapped out it hasn't been converted to springs yet over time i'm guessing that's something i'll end up changing not over to springs but i'll probably just do like r not for you know the upgraded bags and everything in the back because i know over time they just get brittle they crack they break and i'd rather just take care of it before it happens to me so that might be something i do in the future but yeah, I haven't had really, knock on wood, any issues with the car. I've had no check engine lights come up. I've had no type of any warnings on the dash. I've had nothing happen with, you know, anything going out or, you know, it's it's really been a good car. And I know I've only put, you know, seven, 8,000 miles on it. But, you know, anytime you're buying something off Facebook Marketplace, you are rolling the dice. You know, it doesn't matter how good you look at something or how long you test drive it for at the end of the day it's a used vehicle you don't know how it was maintained and you're always taking some sort of a gamble when you do that but luckily for me she is uh she is held up quite well just get a little start up for you guys currently averaging 19.2 miles per gallon but yeah, everything's been working with the radio. I haven't had any issues. I haven't had anything going on with the blend door actuator or anything. The uh, the HVAC stuff, the heating and air in this car has worked great. Everything's been kind of just doing what it should. 
So 40,000 miles, another milestone down for the Lincoln Town Car. And yeah, I guess we'll just see what happens with it. I am happy with it for now. We'll see. But I just wanted to come on here and give you guys kind of an update. We did hit the 40,000 mile mark and just kind of do a recap of everything I've done maintenance wise, cosmetically to the car and so on and so forth. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope all of you guys have been doing well. As always, greatly appreciate that you guys have been checking out the channel, commenting, all that good stuff. Drop a comment, leave a thumbs up. You know, I always try to respond to all your guys' comments on the videos. So I appreciate it. And as always, we will see you guys on the next video. Peace.